Hi YouTube, just walking through my local Walmart and I came across this box of 20 pencils, number two wood pencils, casemate. And in this video, we're going to examine these pencils. I was reading a comment some months ago where it was uh, stated that the Walmart brand of pencils, which are these case mate pencils, were actually um, the same as the Indian pencils, such as the Apsara Platinum extra dark and uh, perhaps even the uh, Nataraj deep dark pencils that come from India uh, as uh, many of you know I really like these Apsara platinum pencils I think they're really high quality they're very dark they're very smooth and um, could write with these all day long but to think that these Walmart pencils which you get 20 of them for oh, it was a couple of bucks it was not that much at all that they would be the same kind of pencils well I mean that would be a wonderful revelation because I could just go down to my local Walmart rather than having to order uh, these and wait uh, a couple of weeks or so for them to arrive from India and I happen to be looking in the back of the box here and I saw this made in India. So that is a good first sign that uh, this could in fact be the case. There's nothing really else to look at on this box other than their number two pencils. So let's go ahead and examine them and see how they compare. move the rest of these off to the side here and they're a very plain Jane yellow pencil if you can see that the writing on the pencil is is quite minimal it just says number 2 HB and there is nothing else on here and it has you know, your basic silverish looking ferrule and your basic ping eraser. So it is a standard school pencil. Now, I wonder how the cores may compare. So let me just go ahead and grab an unsharpened platinum pencil. If, well, it probably won't have an unsharpened. I think they come sharpened. No, good. It's unsharpened. And let's start the comparison there. On the left is the Apsara. On the right is the Casemate. And they're identical as far as the diameter of the center. The length of the pencils is interesting. This has an eraser. The other one does not. So if I align them right here, as you can see that one is shorter than the other, most likely because the pencil ends right here. And the rest of this here is the eraser within the ferrule. So I would say they're the same in that regard too. All right, I'll put this away in my private stash of super cool pencils. So, the next thing to do is to sharpen this baby and uh, see what it's like. Bring out my trusty Helix A5 sharpener here. All right. Move 
that off to the side and you can take a close look at that point. Now I'm going to go and looks like my platinum here, Apsera, is already sharpened. So let's put them side by side and examine the wood comparison. There we go. Well, the wood does not appear to be the same. Two different kinds here. The platinum appears to be a nicer wood, but that's a matter of opinion. This is just kind of old looking. And if I was to compare the Nautilus, it compares with the platinum, and again, not with the Walmart brand. But okay, we don't write with the wood, so that's not really a big deal. Unless you're really into smelling your pencils, which I am not. All right, I guess the next thing we do is we can test its writing feel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write with the platinum because um, I want a benchmark feel for myself as a, so that way I can kind of explain what I'm sensing to you. And so let's give this a shot here. Okay, so this is a test of a very nice pencil. And I'll give it an exclamation mark on the end. Why not? Alright. You can see that there. And as I've said in the other video, it's got good tonal quality. It's not a super dark pencil, but it is one of the darker pencils as far as a, a basic uh, school pencil or whatever. It's a very soft pencil, very high quality graphite uh, lead material. So that that's how I feel about the Apsara pencil. Now, will I feel the same with the Casemate? Well, let me see here. This is a test of a interesting pencil. And I'll give it a period on the end. All right. The only thing I can tell is the sound as it is going on paper. The tonal quality appears to be identical. It does not feel rough to write with. As a matter of fact, it feels just fine. Let me write some more stuff. Okay. Artograph. It's uh, from Delano MN. I think it might be Minnesota. USA. Light Tracer. And then we'll do this here. Okay, it sounds different. It does feel different. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. Um, the they sound different because they actually write on the paper slightly different. The Apsara Platinum is quieter, the smoother, and I can feel that little bit of smoothness. So maybe it compares to this Nataraj. So let me try that. Hmm. 
Mm. Okay, the Apsara is smoother. The Nataraj and this Casemate are so close, it's hard to really tell. But you can hear the difference. And if I could move that in. The tonal quality appears quite close to me, um, but not exact. Let's try this again here. I want to get I want to get this down as much as possible. I want to be sure of this. Hmm. Well, that means that we're going to have to do the AMB grading to find out where these three pencils compare to each other. And that's what we're going to do next. All right. I'm going to start off here with the Platinum Extra Dark. And you know the drill if you watch my other videos. I'm going to draw each rectangle in this direction, this direction, diagonally like that, so that it covers the whole tooth of the paper. And I hold each one on the end like this so that I let the weight of the pencil itself do all the work and not dig into the paper. So here we go. And now I will do the casemate in the middle. We'll start with the up and down first. Okay, so this was the casemate. And now for the Nataraj pencil. Nataraj. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of those correct, but let me just turn the blinds off here. There we go. Tear that sheet off. And let's bring on the lights. Okay, now the next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bring it up as close as we can without blurring it. So let's see if you get that in focus. There we go. All right. So what I need to do now is I need to cut these into strips so we can actually put them together. So let me just go ahead and do that to the Apsara. How do they compare? tonal value. Well, that's kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to let you decide on your own. So take a look at that, studied it, and put down below in the comments whether you feel the casemate on the left is darker or the Apsara on the right is darker. And now let's go on to the next comparison. Here's the casemate to the 
Nataraj. Now study that closely. And then, if you would, down in the comments below, tell me, do you think that the casemate on the left is darker or the nataraj on the right is darker or they are the same? What do you think? And now, last but not least, let's go ahead and compare the Apsara with the nataraj. The Apsara is on the left. Take a real close look at those two. And down in the comments, if you would say whether you believe that the Apsara on the left is darker or the Nataraj on the right. And there you go. Apsara, Nataraj. Apsara, Casemate, Casemate, Nataraj, okay, well, let us all know what you think, and that's it. The Casemate pencil from Walmart. The Casemate pencils from Walmart. And the two other Indian pencils that I have here. The Apsara and the Nataraj. There's your comparison. Look forward to reading your comments. If you like this review, this comparison video, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.